typically um, what butchers would want to do, and chefs as well, is keep as much meat as possible on a joint and obviously take the bones out as lean as possible. So I just want to demonstrate a technique which removes a lamb bone and basically what one does, you clean off the top section of the bone, take the skin off, expose the bone, Then one takes a piece of string, wraps it around the bone twice, now in the case of lamb this might be soft enough to do it by hand but I don't want to risk it and one takes a wooden spoon and you pull this whole structure now down the bone and it removes the rib bone completely clean. We will now demonstrate here, there is absolutely no, nothing left on the bone at all. So this now, done with the second bone. Again. Same piece of string, twice around the bone, once around the handle to get a grip and then slide it underneath the bone and it removes the entire skin of the lamb. I might be able to do this by hand actually better than with a spoon. There we go. And the second lamb bone is exposed, completely exposed. So all this meat that normally sits between the lamb bone, which gets cut out, now remains on it and price per kilo for a butcher is very important. So we keep as much of this meat on, on, our, on, on our lamb as possible. This particular technique is predominantly used on, on pork and beef deboning. Uh, not so much on lamb because we want to keep the lamb bone quite nicely in. But if I wanted to serve a lamb shop now that is really generously Frenched, this would be so clean and so neat, beautiful to serve and present.